Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the serve. And I want to talk to you about a simple and yet very unique concept that will help you utilize the serve you already have more effectively and quite simply make you win more matches today. Now, most of the people watching this video will use a fast flat serve as a first serve, and then the second serve will be slower with some kind of spin, whether it's a slice or a top spin. And then occasionally you might use the spin as a first serve. And when I ask players when and in what situation do they choose to use the spin as the first serve, the most common answer I get is when they're in the ad court to try and kick the opponent wide. And that's not a bad strategy, but for really intelligent serving, there's a whole different level. And to understand this and apply it, I think of it as an IQ test. But to take the IQ test, we've got to find your breaking point, your pressure point. And then when we've found that, we can take the test. So to find your pressure point, let's make a bet. Uh, let's imagine a lot of money. Now, there's a lot of different people watching this video. So whether it's $100, $1,000, $10,000, imagine a bet where it is a lot of money. Now, to win the bet, you've got to make one good second serve. You have one go. Would you take the bet? Most people watching this would take it. Two serves, three serves, five serves, 10 serves, 10 second serves in a row. Would you take the bet? You see, I want to find the number where you'd say, actually, no, I'm not going to take that bet. I'm going to lose my money. For most people, it's going to hover somewhere around four to six, right? It starts to be a lot of second serves in a row. So you know the point where your second serve is likely to break down. It's just the law of averages. But let me ask you this. In the last match that you played, was there a point where you missed six first serves in a row? If the answer is, um, then you don't know. You're not concentrating. And yet we know that you're going to struggle to get six second serves in a row into the court. So you see, as you start to approach your breaking point, let's call it four. So if you miss three first serves in a row, then you should be using a kicker or a slice as a first serve to take the pressure off your second serve. For many people watching this, the problem with your second serve is going to be your first serve because you'll regularly miss long sequences of first serve and put enormous pressure on the second serve. See, the way pressure works is it builds up. For example, if I hold this racket out here, how heavy is the tennis racket? It's nothing. And now one minute in, how heavy is the tennis racket? It's starting to feel really uncomfortable. And now two minutes in, how heavy is the tennis racket? My arm's getting really tired. This feels heavy. Three minutes in, and that's about my limit. I don't want to carry on holding it like that. Pressure builds up. But now that I've actually taken away the pressure, I put the racket back and it feels light again. Do that with your serve. Think of it as an IQ test and be smart. Find your breaking point, whether it's three serves, whether it's four serves, whether it's five serves. At what point would you not take this bet? And then deduct one. And when you've missed, let's say it's five, when you miss four first serves in a row, you want to kick that ball in, slice that ball in, and then take the pressure off. And then it'll all start again. By doing this, you're using your serve intelligently. You're passing the IQ test and you will win more matches and you'll be putting the pressure on the other guy instead of receiving the pressure and just letting what will be will be. So think about using your serve practically. Think about the IQ test and see what a difference it makes to you in matches. I hope this makes sense. It really is a very effective way of using the stroke that you already have. If you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. They are very different with a combination of the science, the biomechanics, the physics of each stroke, and then super simple solutions, often with a different perspective. We use very, very simple and clear illustrations to make sure that they really do help you to practically change your game and take your game to the next level. And maybe I can help you get to the next level. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world all ages and all levels with video analysis and one-to-one -one online coaching. For more information on this unique service, have a look at the website or email me for details. So use your serve smartly. Don't be a dumb tennis player. Pass the serve IQ test. Find your breaking point. Find the point where you wouldn't take the bet. And then subtract a little bit and make sure that you're using your serve in an intelligent, practical and in a winning way. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.